All right, so practice set against Michael. Process goals are gonna be attack the backhand. No, he's gotta go back. Breathing, going through my routines, uh, and then dials, checking in on my dials. That's correct. How was that? Very good. Great experience. Top level competition. Guys playing in the pros, playing futures, challengers. So great competition. What'd you learn from it? Honestly, how to lock in day in and day out. Uh, that mental side of the game really comes to you in college because you got to be on every time. Every match is tough. There's no easy matches, no matter who you're playing. Anyone that can get to that level is good. So you gotta lock in mentally, find that zone, whether it's in practice, on the matches, you gotta be there every single time. How do you do that? Practicing, you, you start it in practice. You, you find that zone during your practices, how you can mentally lock in, focus on a few things that you need to do to get you in that mindset where you're blocking everything out, really in the zone, really locked into what you have to do. And then once you do that in practice time and time again, that starts translating into those matches where you can get in that zone when you need to. Obviously, being a good teammate, you can come out of it, cheer on you guys, but when you're out on the court, you just really need to lock in and do what you need to do to get the W for your team. What'd you lock in though? What'd you find out was it that you needed to lock in to play your best? Honestly, just preparation, having a routine before each match, doing the same thing, really sticking to a routine, not only before the matches, but during your practices, in between points, doing the same thing over and over, just practicing being in that zone as much as you can, because then when you need to find it, it'll come to much more often and much easier than if you just try to you know, go in and out of it, um, just kind of on your own will. If you keep locking in day in and day out, then it becomes very easy to get into that specific X factor zone that you need to be in to have that extra competitive edge over your opponent. What was your routine? My routine before the matches, I would say 20 minutes before we were going on. You know, after our team warm up, we would do, I'd get some stretching done by our trainer. Um, before we'd go into our doubles routine, I'd go with my partner. We'd discuss what we wanted to do during the match based on who we were playing. Um, and then just five minutes in, you know, we'd get together, um, especially, you know, the doubles would be played before the singles. You'd get with your partner. Again, just kind of quickly going over a couple things that you know you wanted to focus on, a couple of things that will help you get in that mental zone. Um, and then just right before the match, you know, during that warm up, you know, find your groove, you know, groove your shots as far as your ground strokes, your volleys, your overheads, your serves, just kind of feeling the ball out and just kind of knowing what you need to do, you know, going into the match and having a plan is super helpful for getting you locked into that zone. Again, when you find the zone, you're just, you're so locked into your court that Everything else outside of it, you, you don't even realize what's going on. You're so focused on what you need to do and just watching every single ball, like just watching the ball hit your racket. Um, you know, it sounds very trivial, but just like focusing on that ball, where it is, taking the correct contact points, just those couple small kind of cliche little things help you really lock into your court and kind of, you know, block out any outside distractions.
so thinking about my match, I feel like there's a little bit of adrenaline, you know, looking in. You know, this Mercedes pulls out in front, just stops in the middle of the street to pick up some guy, and I was like, you just stop in the middle of the street, and I was ready to get kind of angry and like upset, and then I thought for a second, okay, hold on a second here. Let's take a breath. Let's practice patience. What if that Mercedes was a gift from the universe helping me prepare myself for the match so that when there's something that comes up during a match, I can practice patience. Because something always comes up. It's just the way it is. It's all tests and it's all gifts. You get frustrated on the court. You get angry on the court. You know, we spend most of our time trying not to be that, right? Um, well, sometimes, you know what? Maybe it's it's okay to be frustrated or angry because we can use that anger and that frustration to motivate us, to drive us, to play better, to push harder, to go for it. So next time you get frustrated, next time you get angry, you know what? Don't fight it. Don't, don't. Don't push it down. Instead, use it. Use that frustration. Use that anger to motivate you, to push yourself through to what you got to do and go fat, go harder at it. All right, guys, have a great tennis day. Beautiful day here in Chicago. That's the river.